All right, so today I want to show you five incredibly useful features I just found out in mid journey, which are a bit more hidden, but are really nice to use and which will be helpful for you in case you haven't heard of them already. Also make sure to stick until to the end because I will show you a really nice tool that you can use to have a kickstart in mid journey, which I'm using all the time at the moment if I really want to have a specific style or look and have a kickstart with my prompt. By the way, in case you haven't noticed yet, I just had a jaw surgery last week and I'm still recovering from it. So in case you see that, for example, I can't feel my lip at the moment still. And also I'm still a bit swollen, like this cheek here is a little bit and this one as well. But I really wanted to show you now the new features in Mid Journey because there's so much stuff happening and uh, I really wanted to show it to you so you can use that in your own prompts then and improve it. So uh, yeah, let's dive right into it. First thing I wanted to show you, which is really cool. Of course, we open mid journey first, go from here. And first feature I wanted to show you is the describe feature. I don't know if you have known this already or not, but uh, I didn't know it before. And I really wanted to cover this first because I think it's an incredibly useful feature. So what we are doing is we're not typing slash imagine like usual. We will just type in a slash uh, describe this time. And then we press, uh, press enter because we have it recommended here already. We can just click it here and then we can either paste an image or a link and it can be any image. So let's start with this one. Let's just choose one image. I will just choose really quickly one of mine here. I don't know. I have uh, multiple ones. Let's maybe choose the stuff waiter one here and just let's drag it in and let's see what it does. Actually, I can also paste more, but let's just stick with this one. Hit enter again. Then we have of four different prompts that we could use which is really nice like for example here dark waiter with a red lightsaber against a dark and ominous background <laughs> sorry you see i still swollen also um and it's illustrated in the style of travis cherris for example which is an artist so that is cool um and which is really handy now if we want to try them out we don't have to just copy paste them now and then type in slash imagine again and stuff like this what we can do now is just click here on imagine all. So let's do that. And then we see it's instantly testing all those prompts here and then making versions of them. And we can then check them out and see if we like something here. But as again, as a reminder, this was the image I used now. And yeah, you see, this is super cool. We get like different art styles here. Yeah, that's all to say about the description feature. I think it's really useful. Sometimes it's even more when there's a lot of uh, going on in the image. Mm, we have even a larger prompt that we can use. And you see also how prompts are built up and how you can use them effectively. So yeah. Second feature that I want to show you is the minus minus no feature. Uh, but what does that mean exactly? So if we have, for example, some details that we don't want to have in the image. So let's say, for example, we don't want this blue light here because this is bothering us. We just want to have like red colors, like orange, orange, reddish colors that we want to have and no blue light. So let's type in the prompt again, paste this in, and then we will just say minus minus no blue light. And now mid journey will make sure to be in all our prompts from now on, as soon as we have this one here in, we have no blue light in our prompts anymore. So we can just send that. And you see, this is working really well and I can recommend it a lot because now we see we have no blue light at all anymore. And uh, you can just, yeah, check this out and see if you see something. For example, on stage that you want, don't want to have here or in your image, you know, just ex uh, include it here. Minus, minus, no. You can also add several options here. It doesn't have to be just blue light. Could be also, yeah, the minus, minus, no blue light. But also then come, I don't know. I have no idea. Maybe uh, drums. Who knows? And then you can send it again and it will make sure that no images for you, like the variation, there will be drums in it. Only now the guitar player on stage without any drums that we saw here, for example. So they are gone here. And on the other hand, we can also not just exclude words. We can also um, make sure that we wait words. So give words a 
bigger, like let's say meaning, like a bigger weight so that they are really apparent in the image then. So let's take this prompt again and show you what I mean. Then we can say, let's say for example, we want even more roses. I mean, it's already a lot, but let's say we want even more and more apparent in the image, maybe some uh, larger ones. So only thing you have to do, which is really nice and really easy is, you see, we have roses here and just type in um, double double colon like this and then give it a weighting of two because every word that we have here like young and man and playing and guitar and stuff like this has a basic weight of one and when we give it now here a weight of two that means it has double the weight and it's double as important as all the other words in, in this prompt which is really cool because then we can control like our prompt really nice and give it much more control what we want to see in the end so just send this to, see, uh, to show you what I mean. And uh, awesome, yeah, we see it here already. We have, especially on those two images, you see it's not working every time, but on two of them it worked very well because here we always have it kind of in the background, but here they are very apparent as roses. And we see we have much bigger weighting here. The fourth, 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 <laughs> feature I want to show you is blending images together. I don't know if you have seen it already. It's like the description feature right in the beginning when you pay, type in slash and then it will come in here. But uh, this is also really handy and I will just explain it to you quickly that you have heard of it already. So you can just type slash blend and then we can drag and drop two images in here and then it will blend them together. So what does this mean? Just let's do this quickly. Let's take this one for example and maybe one with uh, quite a different lighting. Maybe we have some image over here, maybe the blue one to, see, to really see how it's behaving. And let's try to drag it like this. But you see it's not working for some reason. Maybe you can uh, just drag it in here. But here it's also, you see it, it doesn't find a connection. So I'm not sure maybe you can drag images from outside but you can't drag it like this, unfortunately, which is a bit sad, but um, what we can do otherwise is just take this one, open my browser, save it, save it to your folder. Then again, go here, open the browser, save, save again, open the folder, and then we can drag it from, and then we will just drag it in again. One and two and then you can just send it again and see what we get. Okay, great. And then we see we have this really nice mix of colors here. We have blue color and yeah, reddish color here. All right, so last and final feature that I wanted to show you is the prefer option set. And let's start with a really nice feature which is called prefer suffix because it's in the same kind of direction and group. And this also really helped me a lot so far. So uh, what do I mean with it? Just type in slash and then prefer suffix this time. And it's already here in the um, prefer option that we can see here. Uh, so just click on this. And then what we can do is type here a new value, just select it. And what does this mean now? So the suffix is like always the end of the, your sentence. So what you can do now is say, for example, minus minus style raw, which we use a lot of times. And as well, the minus minus AR 16 to nine, maybe if you want to use that. It helps, of course, that we don't have to type them any anymore, like every time we type in a prompt. So we would just send this. And then you can see now, okay, suffix is now minus minus the raw and minus minus AR6 into nine. And what's happening now is we can say, slash imagine type in anything we want, maybe a boy sitting in a tree. And you can see that it, uh, it was added here automatically, uh, even though we didn't write it into the prompt, like the minus minus star raw and minus minus AR1629. To reset the setting that you don't have it anymore, we can just type in slash settings, press enter, and then you just go here to reset settings. Then you see, okay, the suffix uh, here cleared out. It was there before. And now when we type in something again, a boy is sitting in a tree. 
send it and you see, okay, it got removed already. Another option that you can do, which is really nice and customizable for you and you can use it then anytime, is to use the prefer option set. Let's uh, try this for example. So the prefer option set is a bit harder to understand, but it's really nice. It's like your personal collection of features that you want to use, like a group, let's say a group that you have in mid journey and then uh, that you can then reuse anytime. So what do you need to do? First, we need to set the option, which is kind of the name for it. So we will call it something. Let's say you always want to have your, not always, but you want to have an option to make your images cinematic without typing it in any time in your prompt. So what you can do now is just type in cinematic. Let's call it like this. You can type in anything you want. It's just a name. And then we can type in here one more, select here, value. And then we can type in uh, what we want to have on our prompt, which needs to be added anytime we want it. So let's say cinematic still, for example, and maybe as well, uh, again, minus minus style raw because we like it and minus minus AR six into nine. I know I like them a lot, both of those, but I think they're pretty useful. And uh, yeah, maybe cinematic still, and maybe let's say also a cinema look, I don't know, stuff like this. And then you can uh, just hit enter. And you see, we have now a custom option set, which is called cinematic and set to cinematic still and cinema look. So what that, does that mean for us? Um, we can now just type in prompt again. We, again, slash imagine a boy sitting in a tree. And then we can just go minus minus and then type in our name from our custom option set, which is cinematic in this case. So we, you will always type in the name of it, not, not this type because uh, not this uh, thing here because we don't need it anymore. Just a minus minus cinematic. Just send it then. And then you see it's adding this part here, which is awesome because it's not like the suffix where it's then every time, but you can use it anytime you want as your uh, suffix. You can have up to 20 different sets that you can use. If you want to review those option sets and see uh, which one you have created already and stuff like this to have an overlook, you can just type in slash prefer option list this time, click on it, enter. And you see, okay, we have three already, uh, wallpaper, cinematic and chaotic. If you want to remove actually one of them because you don't need them anymore because you are limited to 20, remember that. But, uh, and you don't need, for example, the chaotic anymore. You can just go in here, type in slash prefer option set again. And then let's uh, get rid of chaotic, why not? and then just like press enter and then you see okay chaotic got removed and we got rid of it okay and now as promised i wanted to show you one last final thing which i'm using at the moment a lot because it's super handy and i don't know if you knew this already or not you just have to log in into uh, the midjourney page just go to midjourney.com you can then just click here on search prompts and which is really nice because then we can type in something which we are interested in. Let's say maybe we are uh, interested in a BMW commercial. And then you can gather inspiration from here, which is really nice to see, okay, we, uh, if we really see a nice image now that we would like to use in some case, we can see, for example, this close up here is really nice. I think um, you can just click on it. And then we see here, we have this super detailed prompt here, which is really nice because this one, we can then take as a base and paste it into mid journey and then make our own adjustments with it. So we can just um, type in slash imagine again, paste it in and then see what we get. Of course, we are not getting the exact same result as we have here because it's not the same seed phrase, but it's a nice option to have. Um, because we see uh, we get kind of this look here, which is really nice because uh, like this, we can recreate it and then also make our variations out of it and our prompt adjustments here. If you want to change something, maybe, I don't know, let's say it's nighttime. Maybe we don't want to have it on, uh, on daytime. And then we can see, okay, cool. We uh, got now 
you know, different options. Of course, uh, here it still seems to be daytime, but yeah, you, uh, I mean, you get what I mean. Uh, yeah, I think you can mess around with it. Maybe here it's more nighttime thing. You can just adjust it, uh, but you really have this nice uh, close up still. I really hope this helped you guys. In case uh, you want to have your mid journey images not just be a still image, but also moving it to have uh, like a cinematic short in the end and to use it for your own movie and stuff like this to have a movie image please check out my other video which i will link you here to create your own cinematic short with it hopefully see you on the next one stay updated subscribe to this channel if you like this video so i can keep doing what i'm doing and uh, see you on the next one and uh, yeah bye bye <laughs>